That's what I call backup. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 100 video games of all time. For this list, we'll be looking at the titles that have the best that gaming has to offer. While we're looking at fun value as a defining factor, we're also taking into account the impact these games have had and how they've influenced the industry. Which video game do you think deserves to be at the top of the list? Let us know in the comments. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 100. Pong This table tennis themed game might seem simplistic now, but we have Pong to thank for today's gaming landscape. Its success inspired further innovation in this form of entertainment, making Pong an absolute trailblazer. Despite being about half a century old, it has an evergreen quality that people of any generation can enjoy. The goal of scoring the most points from one end to the next ignites a competitive spirit in players. Uncomplicated gameplay makes Pong arguably the most user-friendly title, encouraging even non-gamers to indulge in it. Whether it's playing against AI or another person, Pong exemplifies the meaning behind simple but addictive. Number 99, Psychonauts. Because the coach taught me how to concentrate and not be limited. Psychonauts deserves credit for its out-of-the-box style at a time when platform games had become relatively formulaic. It follows protagonist Raz as he attends a camp for people with psychic powers. The diversity of its backdrop is what truly captures players' attention though. Raz can access different people's minds to help them overcome their issues. These open up various levels where each person's thoughts give shape to unique environments. Because of this, Psychonauts features impressive depth in its gameplay, balancing both platforming and puzzle solving. The central mystery surrounding the camp is engaging in its own right, complemented by Raz's growing psychic skills. While there's a large learning curve, perfecting Psychonauts gameplay carries a definite sense of accomplishment. Number 98, Marvel Spider-Man 2. Insomniac's work with the Spider-Man IP has been a constant evolution of terrific mechanics. The PS4 original felt phenomenal to play, but with the PS5's DualSense controller, everything has been fine-tuned to perfection. Whether you're enjoying the different abilities of Peter and Miles, diving through a wind tunnel, or pummeling groups of goons, Spider-Man 2 is ridiculously hard to put down. That's not to mention the jaw-dropping set pieces courtesy of Spidey's famous rogues gallery. From the Sandman opening all the way through the final confrontation with Venom, they are genuinely stunning. Additionally, Yuri Lowenthal, who has voiced Peter Parker multiple times, delivers one of his finest performances as the character. It's too dangerous. I don't want you to lose yourself. Like I did. Number 97, Cuphead. <laughs> Remember when games used to be all about silliness and fun? Cuphead certainly does, containing a classic era feel to its proceedings. It plays out like a Looney Tunes episode come to life, dropping players in a world where the protagonist fights through hordes of over-the-top enemies. While the idea of blazing through the 2D map sounds easy, Cuphead's variety of bosses makes things a lot more difficult. Platforming and combat go hand in hand, meaning there's very little margin for error. All things considered, the game manages to simultaneously be lighthearted and a challenge. It also remains memorable for the way cartoonish aesthetics truly capture the thematic qualities of the game. Number 96, Space Invaders. Here's another game that changed everything for years to come. Even those who haven't played Space Invaders have seen a game that was influenced by this title. The shoot-em-up genre was introduced through Space Invaders' success, filling up arcades worldwide as fans couldn't get enough. 
players have to contend with an alien army, with gameplay all about shooting them down before they can progress beyond borders. Of course, the endless loop means failure is inevitable, but the main appeal is about scoring the highest points. As such, most gamers know the satisfaction that comes with blitzing through enemy forces on the way to getting that top score. Number 95, Castle Crashers. This side-scrolling hack-and-slash game personifies the chaotic energy gamers want from their playthroughs. It's a callback to a genre that's moved on from its roots, so getting back to a simple but charming game is more than welcome. Castle Crashers never takes itself too seriously either, featuring plenty of humor in the protagonist's quest to save the princess. Since each knight has a unique ability, players can extend the game's value by replaying with a different character. Boasting an impressive arsenal of weapons and magical abilities, Castle Crashers is a 2D feature that gets louder and more explosive the longer it goes. And with as many as 4 players possible for co-op, it's the best game to play with friends. Number 94, Crash Bandicoot Warped. You have failed me twice! Great! Uka Uka! It was that infer Bandicoot! The Crash Bandicoot series has been around for a while, but it was Warped that took its popularity to the stratosphere. It retains all the previous installment's starting points and doubles down on creating rich environments filled with platforming fun. <laughs> Not to mention all the wacky characters and an equally offbeat story that the series excels in. No matter which time period Crash lands in, each mission has its own identity with endless replay value. Warped thrives on fast-paced gameplay with tense moments, as Crash has to overcome challenging obstacles and relatively tough boss fights. Still, the catchy soundtrack and vibrant level design injects a carefree atmosphere that makes this entry such a delight to play. Number 93, Borderlands 2. Nearly paid off the house! This first-person RPG shooter can either be completed in single-player or up to four. Either way, fans are in for a world of immersion, as the planet of Pandora has hours worth of content. In the quest to liberate Pandora from the clutches of Handsome Jack, the game leaves room to uncover everything from weapons, treasures, and plot-heavy choices. The RPG elements set it apart from most shooters, since individual choices lead to separate scenarios. Double rainbow all the way! <laughs> Characters are easy to relate to thanks to some smart and humorous dialogue, as Borderlands 2 embraces its dark comedy traits. Although things can get repetitive, the addictive gameplay is such that players have no problem with going back for more. I'll take you all with me! Number 92, Dead Space 2. What's scarier than undead creatures out to get you? That would be undead creatures in space. Dead Space 2 has Isaac Clarke fight off an outbreak of the Necromorphs for a second time, with the bloody horror dialed up to 11. There's something dangerous lurking around every corner, but the game gives us an edge through Isaac's awesome arsenal of weaponry, leading to fun, new ways to decapitate the enroaching horde. This blend of action and fright sets up Dead Space 2 for the thrill ride it is. Placing us in Isaac's shoes also gets us into his psyche as the harsh environments take its toll. This makes Dead Space 2's horror aspect shine, even amidst the pile of corpses. Number 91, Horizon Zero Dawn. A gripping story, a likable protagonist, and an open post-apocalyptic world to explore all are ingredients for a bona fide blockbuster. Horizon Zero Dawn centers around Aloy, a young hunter who figures out the truth about a past calamity that ravaged the Earth. 
The survivors had told everyone how you fought to save them. I wasn't the only one to fight. With killer robots and bandits around, exploration isn't initially easy, but leveling up the skill tree and learning the intricacies of weapon control keeps the difficulty in check as we come across new locations. Those looking for a strong narrative will find Aloy's journey captivating all the way through. Meanwhile, gaming purists can spend hours hacking mecha dinos, tracking side missions, and uncovering every inch of this incredible world. Number 90, Kingdom Hearts 2. We gotta go find the other recruits over at the training camp. Would you join us? It'll be easier to fit in if I'm with guys like you. Most people would love the chance to visit this many Disney universes. Kingdom Hearts 2 makes this dream come true, bringing with it fan favorites like Mulan, Jack Sparrow, and more along for the ride. Listen, even if I go far away, I'll come back. With Goofy and Donald Duck by his side, Sora's story heads into darker territory as he tackles both the Heartless, classic Disney villains, as well as Organization 13. Oh, and the characters from Final Fantasy. At its core, Kingdom Hearts 2 is a hack-and-slash RPG where players can indulge in high-octane battles whilst indulging in the ultimate rabbit hole narrative should they be willing to make the jump. Come on, are you teasing us again? Number 89, Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor. Number 88, Ghost of Tsushima. Number 87, Team Fortress 2. Number 86, Rayman Legends. Number 85, Grim Fandango. I'm Calavera, Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Grim Fandango is a solid example that proves the narrative can be a game's primary selling point. It follows Manny Calavera, who investigates the land of the dead to solve a brewing conspiracy. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. Its creative presentation comes from adapting Mexican culture using film noir as a framing device. While gameplay is very linear, the banter between the characters and the overall flow of the story removes any hint of repetition. Its use of 3D visuals keeps the story engaging as players are encouraged to fully dive into Mexican lore. They don't make them like these anymore. Number 84, Dragon Quest VIII, Journey of the Cursed King. Number 83, Stardew Valley. Number 82, Dishonored. Number 81, Mario Party 2. Number 80, Banjo-Kazooie. Games with excessively large maps are the norm today, but Banjo-Kazooie wowed fans back in the day with as many as nine worlds to explore. There's no need to worry about complex structures or difficulty spikes, as Banjo-Kazooie never tries to be anything but a light, fun-filled adventure. Keeping up with Nintendo's penchant for presentation, the game instantly captures the attention. Colors pop from the screen for dazzling visuals, with its fun-filled soundtrack completing the experience. Even after all these years, this fluffy duo are still beloved. Number 79, The Walking Dead, Season 1. No! Get the hell out of here. I'll catch up with you. Number 78, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Oh. Oh. Just what I needed. Number 77, 
Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. Number 76, Baldur's Gate 3. Number 75, Burnout 3, Takedown. With a focus on extreme racing and daredevil antics, Burnout 3 easily gets the adrenaline pumping. Kicking things into overdrive, the game encourages rough rousing on the street as players need to crash into their opponent to achieve victory. The primary objective is to win by any means necessary, and the no-holds-barred content is notable for appealing to gamers who aren't very savvy in the racing genre. Burnout 3 makes aggression a key weapon, liberating players of all worries. There's nothing like the feeling of completing a perfect takedown, especially because of how well it's rendered on screen. Add in over 60 cars, several game modes, and multiplayer, and we've got an exhilarating racing game in every sense of the word. Number 74, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Number 73, Yakuza 0. Number 72, Spyro, Year of the Dragon. Number 71, Sly 2, Band of Thieves. Stop, thief! Number 70, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, New Age of Heroes. Many crossover fighters might be out there, but few offer the same blockbuster action that this one provides. Rather than come across as too gimmicky, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 justifies its existence through a diverse roster with easy-to-play yet hard-to-master fighters. <laughs> Whether it's Marvel's Spider-Man or Capcom's Mega Man, the game has a mouth-watering level of talent to satisfy multiple fandoms. Its animation is designed to inspire a level of familiarity, playing out like the panels of a comic book story. The fluidity of its battle system is such that players can switch between three characters without interfering with the match's pacing. It's an intense, fast-paced fighting game that rewards those who work on fine-tuning their combos. <laughs> Number 69, Dance Dance Revolution. Number 68, Diablo 2. Number 67, Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Number 66, Titanfall 2. Number 65, Left 4 Dead 2. Reloading. What the hell are you doing, Francis? Gunning down the undead has never been so much fun. Stuck in a zombie apocalypse where things go completely off the rails, players can tackle this undead firefight in single-player or up to four-player co-op. Teamwork adds the required depth and variety to gameplay, as the characters need to keep each other alive to continue the campaign. The sequel in particular drastically ups the ante in terms of locations, mission variety, and the tightness of its controls. This is what happens when you take a simple premise and fine-tune it to perfection. Reloading! Number 64, Metroid Prime. Number 63, Celeste. Number 62, Donkey Kong Country 2, 
Diddy's Conquest. Number 61, Shovel Knight. Number 60, Far Cry 3. Another day, another trendsetter. One that presented players with freedom of choice in how they wanted to gun their way through a tropical, enemy-infested open world. Rook Islands is easy to get lost in, with plenty of side missions and activities in addition to its trip of a main story. Stealth your way through outposts, hunt after rare beasts, collect everything, and spruce up your arsenal. What can now be considered bloated gameplay was a breath of fresh air back during Far Cry 3's debut. In terms of characterization, Far Cry 3 does well with a wonderfully bizarre mix of anti-heroes and villains, especially when it comes to the likes of Voss, who solidified himself as one of the medium's greatest antagonists almost instantly. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? Number 59, World of Warcraft. Number 58, Elden Ring. Number 57, Hollow Knight. Number 56, Mortal Kombat. Number 55, The Sims 2. This sequel took the journey of life and turned it into putty for players to create their own slice of life experience. It's impressive how even the most monotonous tasks can be fun when seen through The Sims 2's lens. Players can curate everything from their avatar's appearance to building a whole neighborhood. At the time of its release, such realism took the gaming landscape by storm, and fans wanted to explore all possibilities in store. From pursuing relationships to fine-tuning character habits and furthering their careers, the game has it all. Although technically there aren't any challenges, there's a real sense of achievement when a sim completes a long and happy life. Or, you know, when you inevitably destroy it all during a sadistic streak. Don't pretend you didn't do it. Number 54, Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. Number 53, Disco Elysium. It is foolish of you to resurface to the loss. Not after all the damage you suffered to get here. Some of it irreversible. Number 52, Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. Number 51, Tomb Raider Anniversary. Number 50, Wii Sports. There was a time when it seemed like everyone was addicted to this little title. Packed with virtual versions of tennis, baseball, bowling, golf, and boxing, Wii Sports brought the outdoors right into players' homes. Thanks to the ease of use, it's a game intended simply for breezy, casual playthroughs. Nice throw! With the Wii's motion sensor capabilities, the fun factor is authentic, especially for those who wanted to play with their families. Shooting for the win promotes a healthy competitive spirit that carries its own thrill. It goes to show that straightforward gameplay can be just as exciting and mainstream as any other AAA game. After over 80 million units sold, it's the platform's biggest success yet. Number 49, GoldenEye 007. Number 
Number 48. Mega Man 2. Number 47. Near Automata. Number 46. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Number 45. Ratchet and Clank, up your arsenal. You have no idea what a thrill it is to be rescued by a big hunk of titanium alloy like yourself. <laughs> Complete with tongue-in-cheek humor, gadgets, and a core dynamic between the protagonists, this threequel established the series as a mainstay in the combat platforming subgenre. Armed with over a dozen weapons, Ratchet and Clank's battle against the maniacal Dr. Nefarious is a bonanza of bullets, explosions, and sci-fi goodness. Although it might seem geared toward a younger audience, beating the game's challenging difficulty is anything but child's play. It can be merciless with the way it unleashes hordes of enemies at a moment's notice. Thanks to its stylish presentation and high-impact weapons, the game is equally rewarding as it is demanding. Good! Check the gate, put it in the can, and it's a wrap! Number 44, Persona 5. Number 43, Hades. Number 42, Gears of War 2. All clear! Number 41, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Number 40, Fire Emblem Three Houses. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Do you really not know? Fine, I'll do you a favor and explain. Awakening may have brought this franchise back to life, but Three Houses made it a mainstream superstar. The staple of its predecessors are all taken to the next level here, forging relationships, navigating the world, branching storylines, and emphasis on tactics. Three Houses implements them all to a T. I guess I have to. Put in the role of a teacher, players have to guide one of three dorms to glory as political strife and civil war threatens to consume everything. The combat cycle never gets old, but its true strengths come from the nuance of its extensive cast, and the pain that comes when choosing a side also means potentially going against those you forged a bond with. It's easy to see why so many are still so enraptured by it. Must be awful losing to me. Number 39, Devil May Cry 3, Dante's Awakening. Number 38, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Number 37, Chrono Trigger. Number 36, The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. Number 35, Castlevania, Symphony of the Night. The 2D side-scrolling genre was on its way out of popularity, and then Alucard burst onto the scene. It's the reason the term Metroidvania has entered the pop culture lexicon, as the game revolutionized the landscape alongside the Metroid series. With a riveting gothic soundtrack and an eerie castle filled with monsters to slay, the game's main star power comes from its aesthetic value. Thanks to intricate level design, exploring Dracula's castle is like treading into a horror story, only you get to bite back. 
Symphony of the Night's non-linear gameplay enables players to traverse the deepest depths of the castle and fully appreciate its artistry. The game's enduring popularity has led to several re-releases and continues to serve as a foundational example of the medium. Number 34, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Number 33, Shadow of the Colossus. Number 32, God of War. Number 31, Batman Arkham City. Number 30, Undertale. As unassuming as it is monumental, this little indie is an absolute triumph. On the face of it, the premise of guiding a lost child back to the surface is straightforward. But Undertale's bullet hell mechanics and curious take on morality made this a journey to remember. Whether they're treading the path of the pacifist or going full genocide, players had to consistently tackle unconventional opponents with a highly diverse move pool. To this day, Undertale is easily recognizable because of its distinct character designs, minimalist approach, incredible soundtrack, and serves as living proof that sometimes an indie can be so much more than a darling. It can outshine practically everything else just by excelling in each of its implemented aspects. Number 29, Fallout New Vegas. Fool to let personalities derail future of mankind. Stupid. Number 28, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Number 27, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Number 26, Super Mario World. Number 25, Mass Effect 2. A sequel more than worthy of being considered one of the greatest sci-fi game experiences to date. The focus mainly falls on assembling a crew with Commander Shepard for a seemingly impossible mission. In addition to riveting storytelling, Mass Effect 2's value is driven by its complex characters, no matter how major or minor they may be. I'll continue to track the Collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. And given how player choice can lead to their ultimate demise, the stakes could not be higher. It's this agency combined with the stellar third-person gunplay that made this the pinnacle of the trilogy, to the extent it might be impossible for the franchise to ever reach such heights again. There is only one Garrus, after all. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Thanks for helping me with this, Shepard. Number 24, Assassin's Creed 2. What do you think you're through? I'm going to serve it as I Number 23, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Number 22, Red Dead Redemption 2. Number 21, Portal 2. Number 20, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh. 
To think that after so many installments, a Zelda game could shatter expectations this much is a testament to how incredible a game Breath of the Wild truly is. Hyrule has never felt more vast and fit for uninhibited adventure, given how players are free to explore every inch of it right from the start. In addition to its gorgeous visual style, its non-linear framework means that players can immerse themselves in the open world to their heart's content. Whether it's solving one of its numerous puzzles, cooking, assisting NPCs, gathering Korok seeds, or combating Ganon's goons, Breath of the Wild is truly one of those games that rewards those who choose to invest in its sandbox. Number 19. Pokémon Gold and Silver Video games didn't have as much long play potential back in the day, but Pokémon Gold and Silver proved that didn't have to be the case. Their combined success skyrocketed the Pokémon brand status into the powerhouse it is now. With over 200 species of Pokémon available, becoming the best like no one ever was felt more fun than during our journey through Johto. As far as visuals go, it offered a much-needed upgrade. As for the core content, Poké Battles had never been more fun and varied as they were during the second gen. And need we say more about the quantity of content available? It still gets our hearts pumping every time we head to the peak to battle red for the unofficial crown. Number 18. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe The Wii U's Mario Kart 8 was phenomenal in its own right, but the Switch's Deluxe is on an entirely different level. Along with the original's DLCs, Deluxe had a multitude of new characters and a revamped system that made racing all the sweeter. The soundtrack, dynamic racetracks, and eye-popping visuals contribute to the game's over-the-top yet exciting environments. <laughs> It's a hardcore racer where everything goes, with a family-friendly touch to satisfy just about everyone. Whether it's tossing piranha plants on opponents, or defying gravity by driving on walls, Deluxe gives us the best kind of Mario fun on wheels. It's no wonder the game's gone on to become the greatest commercial success the Nintendo Switch has seen yet. Number 17. Halo 2 Online multiplayer shooters are the norm now, but we have Halo 2 to thank for perfecting the groundwork. While destroying the Flood in Covenant is a blast, the prospect of gaining victory over fellow gamers carries a unique sense of satisfaction that Halo 2 thrives upon. Although whoever shoots best will always win, the game's map allows players to think strategically to secure another win. Each difficulty level is designed precisely to fit a player's skill level, so there's a whole lot of fun no matter how you want your playthrough to be. Halo's two mastery of delivering high-impact co-op and multiplayer entertainment marked an evolution in gaming, and for our buck, still stands as the franchise's best outing. Number 16. Super Metroid The game that showed the world Samus is here to stay, while proving that exploration can be just as gripping and dynamic as shooting and platforming. It broke new ground with features such as item inventory and rapid firing. Players have to locate power-ups to uncover the whole map, which never gets old thanks to diverse backdrops that arrive one after another. The lack of repetition means that every new area requires its own strategy, whether it be navigating to unseen sections or taking out bosses with new tactics. It's hard to keep track of how many derivative works were influenced by Super Metroid, but the original remains the ultimate side-scrolling experience. Number 15. Half-Life 2 The 
internet has had an endless array of Half-Life 3 confirmed memes for years now, and it's no wonder thanks to just how monumental Half-Life 2 proved to be. Gordon Freeman's goal to defeat the Combine is a layered struggle, one that doesn't waste time leaving players to fend for themselves. Half-Life 2's list of enemies vary from one ability to another, requiring different manners of approach in fending them off. This, combined with genuinely witty puzzle sequences, sets it apart from standard shooters, especially with something as delightfully addictive as the gravity gun at our disposal. Its excellent writing, enduring characters, and sharp gameplay ensured Half-Life's legacy would remain amongst the top echelons of gaming. Number 14, Bioshock. You're a weak chopper. It's the old fish I'm worth telling it when I've been dead. Yellow, always have been. You'll be no better off with a metal daddy, little fish. It was rare for a game to hit people in a genuinely impactful way until Bioshock came around. With morality-based decisions at its core, we guide protagonist Jack in a dystopian world where painful choices have to be made. The underwater city of Rapture is aesthetically brilliant, with its tragic history able to be felt in everything from its sprawling design to hefty enemies like the Big Daddies. Bioshock keeps one hand on the story and another on gameplay, all building towards what many consider the greatest twist in gaming. Atmosphere and thematic qualities, superb gameplay, a wonderful villain via Andrew Ryan, as well as the balance beam between moral quandary and the need to level up, this game truly was shooting on all cylinders, both mechanically and creatively. Number 13, Bloodborne. There's no doubt that Bloodborne is an acquired taste, namely those who can withstand its frighteningly difficult levels. The RPG is all about trial and error, with a whole lot of errors, but the end result speaks for itself, a Soulsborne experience that's truly enrapturing. The only way to survive is to be ready to attack at all times, providing a sense of urgency and exhilaration to gameplay. The marriage between gothic themes, aggressive combat, and horrifying enemies really sell Bloodborne's distinct identity. The elevated difficulty can be offset by mastering every feature available, and this kind of dedication contributes to the hundreds of hours fans spend on the game. It might not be for everyone, but for genre fans, it doesn't get better than this. Number 12, Resident Evil 4. Every acclaimed over-the-shoulder feature such as Gears of War, Uncharted, and God of War have Resident Evil 4 to thank. This revolutionary take on the third-person camera was introduced and normalized by this game, and in doing so, created an action horror game for the ages. <laughs> Along with other reinventions such as the multi-item inventory system and dark sense of humor, the game offered empowering gameplay unseen in the franchise until this point. It gave players the ability to bring down parasitic hordes in a thrilling manner that only someone like Leon Kennedy could provide. Even so long after its release, Resident Evil 4 doesn't feel dated in the slightest, a testament to its evergreen nature. Number 11, Tetris. Tetris is so entrenched in mainstream culture that it's hard to believe it's only been a few decades since its creation. Available just about everywhere in the world, the game has been lauded for being a brain teaser in a simple package. No matter what age group a person belongs to, Tetris appeals to everyone. Despite being easily accessible, besting Tetris isn't as easy as it seems. But it's because of this challenge that players spend so much time looking to beat their best scores.
Revamps like Tetris Effect have kept the brand going strong into the 21st century, with variations that add an entertaining spin to its tried and tested formula. And no matter how many new games enter the fray, Tetris's recognizability has never been diminished. Number 10. The Last of Us Those people are on fire. Don't look, Sarah. Thrilling, haunting, and most of all, heartbreaking, The Last of Us took the canvas of a post-apocalyptic survival action fest and turned it into something beautiful. The dynamic between Joel and Ellie is palpable both within the story and gameplay as they keep each other alive against hordes of infected and malicious human survivors. Players are witness to just how visceral the end of civilization and how even those we root for can make us question our sense of right and wrong. Quit your squirming. You were saying? I sold them. There's a refreshing sense of realism from the vulnerabilities the protagonists display, as the game thrives on backs to the wall combat and stealth. Everything from level design to character traits is curated to fit where the narrative is headed. The Last of Us is a landmark achievement in story driven gameplay, and that is never going to change. I wasn't alone. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. Number 9. Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior. Street Fighter is synonymous with arcade fighters, and World Warrior arguably represents its peak. Its success exploded the fighting genre into popularity, making way for tournaments, game mastery, and influencing many other quality titles in the process. At the time, the opportunity to select multiple fighters with their own moves and abilities was a remarkable achievement. <laughs> Adding in style and edgy characterizations to these fighters injected real personality into the game, as fans identified with the ones they liked most. To this day, unlocking special moves and defeating opponents with a flurry of attacks delivers the desired adrenaline rush. Its success paved the way for a plethora of Street Fighter entries that have replicated World Warrior's quality, although the original has still stood the test of time. <laughs> Number 8. Silent Hill 2 I'm looking for... someone. Who, who, who is it? Someone... very important to me. The Resident Evil series established the horror genre, but Silent Hill 2 truly showed just how terrifying gaming could really be. Incorporating a dark palette and a highly vulnerable protagonist, it reflects the fears anyone would feel if they were left in absolute isolation, with only supernatural monstrosities for company. Deeper themes of loneliness and despair make the game more than just survival horror. Iconic villains like Pyramid Head represent the traumatic psyche of fractured hero James Sunderland, whose past sins are brought before his eyes with every sinister puzzle solved. Exploring the town's eerily pulsating atmosphere is a wonderful thrill. With minimal combat support and monsters in abundance, the fear factor in Silent Hill 2 remains sky-high all the way through. Number 7. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt So tell me, once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Care Morn. Little early to settle in for the winter. The most striking aspect of The Witcher 3 is the sense of scale it represents. The game wants you to stay in the mystical continent as long as possible, complete with day-night cycles that imitate the great outdoors. Witcher Geralt is caught up in a massive conflict that sets him across the sprawling landscape. Fine. Where should I start? But there's so much to do that fans can forget that they're supposed to be hunting after their missing daughter figure. Players can spend their time hunting monsters, forging relationships, or just messing around playing Gwent. The finesse and combat and fluidity of Geralt's movements make gameplay a treat to learn and unleash. Wild Hunt is one of the defining examples of how fantasy open-world gaming can be all-encompassing and wholly investing. You need not do this, child. I know, but I want to. Number 6. Minecraft Ooh. 
far and away the greatest commercial success in gaming history, Minecraft is the most sold title ever made. The term sandbox has been thrown around a lot, but Minecraft embodies this spirit by letting players do whatever they want and however they want it. The goal is to build anything that fits the player's imagination, and the more creative, the better. The hours tend to tick by without notice, as fans let their minds soar and come up with structures that do their dedication justice. Its vast, endless map allows players to keep their rhythm going without interference, extending playthroughs to however long a person wants it to be. Minecraft has changed the way games were traditionally designed, opening up room for innovation like never before. Number 5. Grand Theft Auto 4 Grand Theft Auto 4 broke barriers even its own lauded predecessors didn't. Featuring a new rendition of Liberty City vibrant with content, Rockstar's crime world was more accessible than ever before. From checking out comedy clubs to going bowling, this game has side activities galore. Its surprisingly moving story establishes that crime isn't without consequence. He'll be leaving his house in a little while and heading for the club. Do what you have to do. This is juxtaposed between experiencing the peaks of the big city and learning how it masks the harsh realities of the American dream. While Nico Bellic's arc has its emotional resonance, the average gamer will also love navigating around every corner of the alternate Big Apple. GTA 4 set the benchmark for success and hasn't stopped since. I know about protection. What do you need? Number 4. Doom. A major shift in first-person shooter popularity and gameplay occurred when Doom leaped onto the scene. Everything about the game gets the aggression going, from its banging soundtrack to guns that pack a wallop. It pushed the envelope on the level of gore shown on screen, along with dealing with otherworldly elements that stirred a tad bit of controversy back in the day. In the end though, Doom's use of 3D visuals, explosive shooting, and horror-filled art style were all trailblazers. While games like Halo 2 normalized online multiplayer, Doom is among the titles to introduce it to its audiences. Its significance to gaming led to a number of Doom clones, as everyone wanted a taste of the success that Doom reveled in. Number 3. Metal Gear Solid don't worry, I'm here to save you. No, no, don't touch it! C4. You want to talk about storytelling and gaming? Kojima brought it all to fruition right here. What starts as an infiltration mission leads to iconic agent Solid Snake tackling a potential nuclear disaster, all filtered through awesome set pieces, crazy bosses, and immersion unseen on the original PlayStation. Shadow Moses makes for a stellar location, keeping the action at a steady pace. It goes to show that constant shooting isn't necessary for a fun playthrough, not when stealth mechanics are this well detailed. It set the bar so high in so many areas that even as its sequel ironed out the graphics, the original Metal Gear Solid's essence allows it to stand alongside its successors. Snake, is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Number 2. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time <laughs> Ocarina of Time confirmed once and for all that 3D gameplay wasn't just a gimmick, but the new normal. As a fantasy game, it's great. As a Zelda entry, it was a revolution. It made features like target locking and free travel the industry standard when it came to action-adventure games. An ocarina to learn 12 different songs as the game's outline is a unique idea even today. The game's innovative presentation is significant for not just being a part of level design, but to capture fans into the fantastical land of Hyrule. Its impact was felt on both consumers and developers, as Ocarina of Time raised gamers' expectations and pushed studios to try and match the flawlessness that this installment brought forward. Oh! 
number one, Super Mario 64. The Mario series is arguably the first that comes to mind when it comes to video games. So it's fitting that Super Mario 64 eased gamers to a 3D experience featuring its trademark style through a different prism. It's a joyous ride through the Mario world, as fans back in the day got to see their favorite characters in vivid and gorgeous detail. The transition from side-scrolling to 3D platforming might have seemed daunting, but the final product is a seamless adventure for everyone's favorite plumber. <laughs> Few games make players feel at home from the get-go as Super Mario 64 does, thanks largely to easy-to-use controls. With a step forward in everything from design, animation, gameplay, and scale, Super Mario 64 success was a win for the gaming industry at large. Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.